Hey folks, Dave Cross here with a quick little suggestion on a cool thing we can do in Photoshop CS6 that uh, creates a interesting stop motion movie or time lapse if you prefer, however you like to call it. So to demonstrate this, I took a series of photographs. Now they're nothing special, it's really just to show the technique. So here in Bridge you can see it's just a whole series of photographs taken handheld uh, every couple of seconds just pointing a street so I could see something happening like cars going back and forth. Now you could do this on a tripod, but I think part of the interest in the stop motion look is when there's a bit of camera movement. So I tried to keep my camera somewhat still, but didn't mind if it moved a little bit because I think it kind of adds to the effect. Now for the purpose of this demonstration, I took a whole bunch of photographs and actually shot them in kind of medium quality JPEG because I didn't really want to process a whole bunch of big, big files. So I'm just gonna open one of these in Photoshop so I get the right size. So this is the basically the size of my file. And the reason I do that is because I, I want to create a new file based on this one. So I just go File New. And then in this menu, I just choose this one. And that basically just lets me have a new document, which is the right size. Now, one of the things that's new in Photoshop CS6 is the ability to work with video. So if you don't have the timeline panel showing. You can find it from the window menu. Mine is down at the bottom. So I open it up and because this is a brand new file I need to tell it yes please create a video timeline. At this point I come to this small little graphic here. It looks like a film strip. Click on it and it says add media. So all I do is I navigate to my folder and select all of these files and hit open and that's going to add them to the timeline fairly quickly considering the number of photographs. I think in this case there's, I don't know, 125 or something like that. Now the only problem is that by nature it has quite a bit of time for each one. So it would be a very slow moving movie and really wouldn't have the effect. Now this is for me a, a brand new thing that I've been experimenting with so there may be some other way to do it. But I found when I wanted to change the, the frame rate in effect of all of these very quickly that one of the simplest ways to do it is right down the bottom corner here there's an option that converts to frame animation. So I click on that and it basically gets all of my frames. Then I can use the pop-up menu here to select all frames and you'll see right now they're all set to five seconds. So if I click on any one of these and put it to either no delay or a very short delay like 0.1 seconds it changes all of them and now if I play my movie real quickly you can see there's that nice stop motion effect going on. Then it's just a matter of going to export it as a video. So we'll just call this something and of course you would pick the size in terms of encoding and all that kind of stuff. Hit render and you'll see it doesn't take very long because really it's just a, a short movie in effect. So this will export in whatever settings you've done. Now the only downside is that when you go to this frame animation you can't have an audio track. When you're in the regular look it is possible to add an audio track. So a simple solution would be to just open the movie you just created. When I do that it's going to open a separate document that has just my movie in it. So you can see I can play it. There's all my stop motion. And now we have the option down here of adding an audio track. So it's a, a kind of a cool project. I think you can imagine all kinds of fun things you can do with this. And you can experiment with how many photos to take and how often to take them and all that kind of stuff. But without any kind of extra video software, pretty neat way to make a very interesting stop motion video. I'm Dave Cross. Thanks very much for watching.